This is important. Um, we now have uh, 80 just Democrats that have gone on uh, from the primaries to be the Democratic candidate in their races. Well, uh, what will the Democratic Party do? Because <laughs> the, if you don't know, there's, I mean, first of all, you all know there's a ton of money involved in politics, and you know it comes from all sorts of different weird sources, right? But your party's supposed to support you. That's the whole point of the party is to get more people elected from your party. Democratic Party puts some money to all the, especially the close races. Republican Party does likewise. This stuff is elementary, right? But in any normal year where they have candidates that they are part of what they perceive to be their team, what I would call the establishment Democrats, they would obviously come in and pour a lot of money into these districts, right? Especially the ones that are really close. Will they do likewise for the Justice Democrats? Hmm. So I, I no, no, I really don't know. They, I mean, it would be- They want a majority. They would be crazy for them not to. They want a majority, John is right, right? They need to win, that's their whole thesis, that's their whole point of existence, right? So now in that 18 for now is Brent, I'm not counting Brent because his race is not called yet, right? Brent is in a very close district as an example, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't spend a lot of money in Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's race, that's totally fine because that's a very blue district. She is overwhelmingly likely to win. I'm not asking for the Democratic Party to, for lack of a better word, waste money, right? Whatever you need to do to, to get to that win and not be overconfident, but yes, God bless, we've got that, okay? But there's a lot of races, especially in a situation where there's some election swinging 20 points, a lot of these races are up in there. Now, again, to be fair, they only have a certain amount of money and they've got a proportionate right to win the maximum number of seats. But a lot of these um, races are in really close districts. So will the Democratic Party actually do what they're supposed to do, which is help Democratic candidates win? Or will they play favorites and not help the progressives? Yeah. So that would be devastating for the party, and we are watching. It's not like we're gonna miss it. I don't know if they, which way that leans for them. I don't know if they're gonna be bitter and spiteful or anything, or if they're just gonna do their job. And it's kind of sad that we even have to have a conversation about whether they're just simply going to do their job. Yeah. Uh, but they should, and they should help these candidates that have won. Uh, and I know that they didn't expect a lot of just Democrats to win, they're uncorrupted, they don't take corporate PAC money, and they're very progressive. Uh, but sad day for them, they did win. Uh, we're not anywhere near done with the primary season, we're not even done in the middle of tonight. But we've already got 18 uh, just Democrats moving on to the general election. If the Democratic Party does not support them, there is going to be an uprising, a mutiny, uh, and, and one even larger than they expected. Because then they would be throwing away the chance for the Democratic Party to win out of what? Spite? I don't know. Yeah. But again, don't judge until it happens one way or another. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, and you know, however much we have to be as a result of what we've seen, suspicious of the Democratic Party, worried about its motivations, what it's going to do, after some or all of these candidates go on and win, we will be that much closer to a Democratic Party that we don't have to approach with that level of suspicion or fear or hatred or whatever. And in two more years, we'll do it again. And in two years after that, we'll do it again. And we already know where the momentum is. We know where the future of the Democratic Party is. It's being written night after night at these primaries as we've been covering them. Yes, and don't miss any of our election coverage. Always on tyt.com slash live. You know the live show is 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern every day. Uh, and then on election nights like tonight, uh, we're always here and we care about the primary fights that yeah. are very important. We care about the things that uh, uh, progressives care about. That's why we call ourselves the home of progressives. So make sure you check it out every election night at tyt.com slash live.